These things are gonna be a little bit off order, but bear with me here. And they were all done like pretty much within a few weeks of each other. So let's start off with the front end of the truck here. If you see on the chrome bumper, I touched up on little pieces of parts that were starting to corrode. There was a winch cord hanging out of here. If you look under, you can actually still see the cord right here. I just tucked it underneath, but it was hanging out here because there was a whole chrome grill guard on the front of the Cummins. If you guys see in my YouTube banner, you can see when the Cummins actually had that. I took it off and then I sold it, so I don't have that anymore. But that thing was big, bulky, it was weighing it down. It brought the truck like a foot longer out than it should be. So I just decided to just get rid of it. So I touched up on those points. I cleaned up the whole front end. As you can see, there's little holes here drilled because there was support brackets for that grill guard that came through here. But it's really hard to notice because of how low the Cummins is sitting right now. Make sure to subscribe. So if you look here, I also painted over the license plate screw holders. I painted them black, looks a lot better than before. It was kind of like a faded white slash clear look to it. I didn't like the look of that at all. The brackets that were here, they was starting to corrode a little bit. Well, not corrode, but it was starting to fade. So I painted over that on the inside of there. I have vacuum cleaned all of the debris that was inside of there from building up from the grill guard being there where there was really no air being able to fluctuate in there, pushing that stuff out. So I had to take care of it myself. And like I said, I cleaned up the whole front end. It was looking horrible. It was really hard. To, you really couldn't clean the front end of the truck because of how big and bulky that grill guard was on the truck. It was covering everything. To get that off, it was very easy to really scrub the whole front end down, and now it's looking good. I really love how this truck has the fog lights so I don't have to go for a different bumper, but I'll probably go with the custom bumper down the road anyway. If you look here on the front of the hood, you can see there's little touch-up spots here that were done by the previous owner. There was only one owner of the truck. I took care of some other ones. As you can see, the ones that I took care of match the truck a little more, so they definitely found some random paint and then took care of it. And when it comes to touch up paint on the truck, I actually touched up on all sides of the truck, even the top. There was a spot up there that I took care of. But moving on to the side here, I sprayed over all of the front suspension components, as you can see. I took care of the front axle. Everything under there is looking great. Man, these, I need new brakes. Look how disgusting that is. And I clean them all the time. The tires are, they have a lot of tread but I definitely want to go with something bigger. This antenna, if you guys are familiar with Chrysler vehicles or at least Ram trucks, they've always been coming with like a metal color antenna. So I decided to paint all that black. I like the black look better. Maybe I just got used to it from having that on my Silverado. But I also took off the paint. I ordered an antenna tool off eBay for about $10 and I was able to get that off. Painted that whole thing black along with a chrome holder to the antenna. Another thing I'd like to mention is that the metal on the wiper blades were starting to fade in certain places like right there. I decided to take care of that with some paint. There's also a nice stripping of tint on the top of the Cummins there along with all the windows on the side. All matching looks very nice but oh my you guys cannot let me forget about this i installed these tow mirrors on the cummins now originally they had just the regular fat mirrors that come with any old truck just like my silverado had those as well before i upgraded the tow mirrors on that truck these tow mirrors come equipped with the puddle light working great led and also led turn signals which are actually smoked out as you can see they're also heated and I love these mirrors a lot. They've had and served me no problems besides installation. Check out that video. There was a little bit of complication there, but I got them on the truck. Everything's looking good. So I threw some electrical tape over here because it was starting to peel a little bit. That's not a permanent fix. I decided to just do that for now for a temporary. I also painted the hole underneath of the frame, basically everywhere. If you just, if you just look at that, I basically got everything. Got this truck from Tennessee. Another one wanted to be safe so i decided to coat over the hole underneath i went to a shop they raised me up on their lift and it was actually a lot easier process than when i had to do it on my driveway with the silverado which actually had a lot more corrosion than this older truck it's only older by a few years so i also touched up on the sides like i said before it's hard to really notice where they were because they really dried and really blended really well but i took care of everything even within the door handles and inside the door I also took care of spots on all sides. Spent a long time on cleaning up and just making sure this truck looked perfect before I started some real big mods that I have planned for the channel. So before I continue moving back to the back, well, I'm gonna show you guys the inside a little bit. Yeah, I have just this random floor mat. I tried to ask if they had another floor mat to give me, but they didn't. So I had to just throw this random one in from an old car that I used to have and it matches, well, I guess, 
the upper part of the interior, but the other side and the back, they all have this just black carpet. I'm gonna go with something rubber because the winter time is gonna be coming around eventually. Cleaning road salt out of carpet, well, you're gonna have to wash it and there's no way to just really vacuum clean it out. If you have a rubber floor mat, just hose that thing down, you know what I'm saying? So I must say, buying this vehicle from a big dealer, I really thought that they would have cleaned up this interior and made it look brand new. Well, that really wasn't the case. I had to scrub down a lot of different places, including buttons, Behind the seatbelt, it looked like they ate barbecue every single day, but who can blame them? And I also found a guitar pick in the truck. So they didn't really look everywhere, but I got every single nook and cranny. I cleaned up everything I could. Everything is looking spotless in here. And if you look right here, I painted inside the console. Now, obviously that's not a matching color, but it was bothering me how chipped and scratched up it looked. So I decided to take care of it myself. Just a little temporary fix. Now, along with scrubbing down the entire interior, I also vacuum cleaned the whole entire that i cleaned it out as much as i could and everything is looking great i did not forget about the back either i got the whole back it looks honestly brand new in here there is some debris a little bit from i guess just driving on the road with the windows down but that's no big problem i had this cloth in here because i was sitting on it from when i painted the truck never bothered to take it out but if you look under here the seats are looking great i tried to get this interior as clean as i possibly could and i must say it's looking great so moving on to the back of the truck here there's some things that i want to touch and point out to you guys is that the back here sliding rear window there was some kind of weird adhesive on the outside maybe they were repping some kind of advertisement this vehicle was a commercial vehicle and i must say now that i think about it it really brought to my attention when i checked the carfax it had a perfect service record history every few hundred thousand miles it was gone to the dealership it stayed in tennessee its whole life one owner this truck is running great i haven't had any issues besides one thing i cleaned it all up scrubbed it all down it took a lot i started sweating because of how hard i was scrubbing down the back window but it's looking good now i touched up with the whole bed now this bed was really used for work you could really tell that this was a commercial vehicle and they did haul and throw a lot of stuff in the bed there was a lot of like caked on dirt i tried to scrub that stuff out i tried a screwdriver i tried a paint scraper there was just nothing getting that stuff out so i decided and well really i had a whole half bucket of paint of undercoating truck bed liner from the underneath of the truck that is actually what i used on this truck now on the silverado i used rubberized undercoating i don't know i feel like the truck bed liner looks a lot better i feel like it held up better it's easier to just paint on instead of spray even though i did use spray on a lot of portions after i did the bed liner underneath because there was just little spots that you can't get with such a big brush so i had half a bucket of paint left of truck bed liner i was like hey why not actually just apply it to what it should be for and that is the truck bed so i painted the whole thing up i touched up everywhere with another layer and i must say it's looking great it looks like it wasn't even used there is absolutely no dents in this bed by the way i'm really happy for that i wish the silverado actually had a painted bed liner like this one did as well because i don't know i just enjoy it better and the ones with the rubber floor mats and the plastic covers like the silverado well those bed liners actually trap moisture and cause rust so that's not good i'm actually doing the outside of the truck instead of starting with the engine bay first out here in the back as you can see i touched up in a lot of places the paint didn't really blend that well but i mean i just wanted to get a coat over instead of just having bare chips that could potentially rust because I mean this is going to be a build and I'm not to become some kind of show truck and to keep it on the street all the time I just want to make sure that this vehicle doesn't rust and I last a long time so if you look here in the back yep touched up on those places I took this cover off I painted it I painted the bolts to the license plate I threw a layer of paint on the trailer hitch I didn't really need to do that but I decided to anyway I took care of the hole underneath of the truck now there's something missing here if you guys can notice and yeah the spare tire is missing from the truck now i decided to take that down it was actually a mud terrain tire it was bigger than all the stock tires so who really cares no point of having it up there i was going to throw it in the bed like i did with the silverado anyway if i decided to keep it here but i just decided to take it down and put it in my garage and then i sanded everything down painted it all over everything is looking great and i also got the rear axle along with doing that i also took the spare tire winch out and i sold that online because i figured hey i'm never going to use it anyway and i also painted this on the back of the truck so along with the back of the truck and actually the bed really is what i forgot to say is that there was definitely some kind of ladder rack or bed cover on this truck. Obviously it's not there anymore. I wouldn't actually wanted that thing anyway. I don't really like the look of those, but I decided to paint the holes that were here. I got the underneath well, but I painted all the holes because there was just a lot of discoloration there. It was like brownish and this is plastic, so it wasn't rust, but I painted over it. 
on the, all these spots to really give it a nice blended black look. So there's something I have to say here with the gas cap. When I opened this up, there was something right here. There was some kind of piece that was on here. I'm not really sure what the name is. Some people were saying in the comments that that might have been some kind of gas cap lock and they just kept the bracket there for some reason. But I decided to take that out because I kind of left it uneven a little bit. It didn't look right, it was like this. So I decided to take that part out, unscrew the screws as much as I could to the point where it kept it very flush and even. Basically the biggest mods that I've done to the truck so far and that is, here, let me open the hood up for you. But if you look in here, I unplugged the EGR cooler, the EGR, the throttle valve way down in there. And why did I do that? Because I deleted the truck. The emissions are no longer running on the truck. I installed a tune by Anarchy. There's all these videos that I made on that. Two videos actually. I'll put the links in the bio below, but you can find those on the channel if you want to just look for it for yourself. Also cleaned up the whole entire engine bay. I hosed it all the way down. And I scrubbed everything I could and it looked a lot worse than it did now. I must say it looks a lot cleaner than it did before. In the process of deleting your truck, I'll probably make a video on why you should delete your truck if you drive a diesel, at least a newer one that have this stuff in their truck. I did something underneath here. I made the truck a lot louder. You see that guys? That is the end of the exhaust. Now we are only under like the front of the cab of the truck. The exhaust is just dumped right under here. There's nothing nice for an F-150. No exhaust for the rest of the way back behind the truck. I took all that piping out. I made a video on that, but yeah, there is no piping all the way back here. There is absolutely nothing. It is very loud. It sounds amazing though. And the reason why I did that is because there was equipment, emissions equipment down here that you can't have on the truck once you delete it because it will just build up soot and stuff and eventually it'll just clog and then no exhaust will leave the truck and your engine will probably blow. I'm gonna go with a full exhaust system down the road, but I just got inspected So I have about a year until I really have to do anything and I want to make sure I get the best brand style and everything that I want for the truck I probably want to go with like a black painted one or I'll buy it and then paint it black I want to make sure that it doesn't rust and doesn't corrode and last a very long time like everything else so There's actually one more thing that I've done to the Cummins and that's something that broke and it was the original one So I'm not too surprised Water pumps do break pretty often on these trucks. Now there's a lot of people that have had problems with these water pumps on their trucks before. So I did take care of that and the truck is running 100% smooth now. So that is basically all the stuff that I've done to the Cummins so far. Now this build is nowhere near done. Obviously I haven't really done that much stuff to the outer portion and not really that many mods to the inside besides basically the stuff that everyone does. I just wanted to give you guys a little update of what I've done so far to the truck because I've had the truck for a little bit now and I wanted to make sure, make sure you guys know the process that it takes to really get a used truck restored to a perfect condition and that's basically what I did here. So thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe so I can see you next video. Have a nice day guys.